All right, Rhonda, here we go. Doing two heavy uh, power snatches. They are clusters. So the first thing we have set up, um, you know, not a terrible position, but I want you to notice me over here. And notice how long my legs are, how high my hips are, where my shoulders and head are, right? They're above that, whereas your shoulders and your head are slightly in line or maybe slightly above. And that makes it really difficult to get tension in your hamstrings, in your shoulders, and in the bar. So I'd like to see it a little bit higher. It's not mandatory, but at this level, that's where I like to go so we can actually get into tension. So when we start the first pull, what we're going to see is the first pull is out of whack. So the shoulders are going to end up coming forward. The hips are going to come forward. And making sure that we're getting into tension, that we're getting tight in all the right places and getting that bar bending slightly is gonna help a lot. And also it helps us get our balance because when, when we're coming forward like this, that means that the weight is probably in your toes or in the front part of your foot and it should be more midfoot. So when we start seeing, now this position I like. So if you see when I start, when I get into tension, very similar. And I like the position. My, I'm a little bit more vertical, so we'd probably like to see those knees out a little bit, get a little bit more, but th this is a pretty good position. I, I like this. The head's up. I like it. However, something isn't quite right in this position because of how the first pull goes. Um, so that's what we want to be mindful of. So what we're going to see here is on that first pull, everything comes forward. All right, so we're back where we should be, and then we pull, and then everything comes forward. The hips shot forward and up, the shoulders shot forward and up. So a couple things. One is it can be just technical. Hey, we need to pull that bar back to start. I think it can also be, hey, we need balance underneath the bar. And then the second, the third thing is making sure we're getting tension in the bar, in the shoulders, in the hamstrings. And it's very hard to do that when we're already in our starting position. So about right there, we'll stop. So the, the, the issue is that you were just coming forward and now we're too far over the bar. That's way too far over. The balance is all off, all off. So now when we come over to my first pull, notice the hips and shoulders are rising together. The bar is staying close. Arms are nice and straight. You get to above the knee. And I'm not super over top of the bar. I'm over top of the bar, but I'm not way over. Like we, we're, This is a little bit too far over the bar. All right. So now what we see, even in that first pull going to the knee, we're already starting to bend our arms. And notice my arms are straight here. That's what we're looking for. So when, once we get those arms bending, you see it, it almost looks like a kettlebell swing. The arms are bent. Oops, sorry too far. All right. So the arms are bent. So it just kind of comes out and around and we never get to use our hip. Our hip never fully extends. So we're, we get to this position like above the knee and then it just goes, whoop, it goes out. And that is not what we want. We want those arms straight and we want it dragging up. So what we're going to see here is All right, we're already bent. I'm at the top of the knee, arms are nice and straight, head up, proud chest, we still have that. I like to see a little bit more extension here, but again, that's, that's not a bad position. So, arm straight, arm straight, arm straight, arm straight, arm straight. My shoulders are behind the bar. My feet are flat. That's the other thing, I can't see your feet in here. Feet are flat, I'm behind the bar. Versus when we get, like we never hit this position because we're never dragging the bar up. We never hit that position. Like this is the closest, like that bar is still on me, it's still touch my legs. Then it comes up, we got that momentum coming up and I pull underneath of the bar. For this, this is more like you're swinging the bar up. I do like the catch. That, that has seen tons of improvement. You can tell that the overhead squats that we've been doing are helping. That overhead position looks really good. 
and um, it looks solid. I like that position a lot. You're not rushing out of it. You look pretty comfortable there. It looks good. So in this second lift, you're gonna see the shift in that first pull. It's gonna be a lot more drastic. Let's get there. Sorry, come on. Make sure I don't mess up the video. All right, so same thing, just like we talked about before, the hips just aren't high enough and we're not pulling into tension enough. Again, I like the head. I want the hips to start higher, but I want them to finish a little bit lower. I want a little bit more lumbar curve. I want that proud chest. All right, so I'm up nice and high, and then I pull tight. You can see my shoulders roll back, butt down, knees out. All right, so then we start coming. Ooh, you see that? It's coming forward. Everything comes forward and up. We're just going this way. We want that bar going up. And then we have that early arm bend. So this is what we want to see. Nice straight arms. It's riding up the legs. And then we have that kettlebell swing out. Whereas we want it back, 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 back. That bar staying, staying on the legs. Staying on the legs, staying on the legs, staying on the legs. Feet down, feet down, feet down, feet down. Bar be shoulders behind the bar. Now it comes up and then I pull underneath. Really like the overhead. It's come a long way. It looks really good. Now we just gotta work on that second pull. All right, so a great way to work on the second pull is to do some hang movements. So, um, you know, I'll be adding some hang movements into your programming, into your individual design to make sure that we're working on that hang position and working on getting those straight arms on that pull. Because that's what's killing the power. And that's why you don't feel strong in that position. It's because the arms are doing the work and the arms aren't strong and powerful. The hips and the legs are. That's where we want that power to be. This is the part that we're missing right here. Driving up the legs, keeping that bar close. Then we get underneath of it. Good work, Rhonda. Keep it up. If you'd like to get a frame-by-frame uh, -frame breakdown, email me. Cheers.